Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, I want to show you how you can link an Excel spreadsheet to a PowerPoint presentation. So, when your data updates in Microsoft Excel, it'll also automatically update in your PowerPoint presentation. Usually, I have to go into Excel, and that's where I'll update the data, and then I have to manually copy and paste it from Excel into PowerPoint. That takes a lot of time, and luckily there is a better way. So, let's check it out. Here I am in PowerPoint and this is my project updated cash flow. Now, I want to update this table in Excel, and those updates will automatically flow through to PowerPoint, without me having to touch anything. Let's jump into Excel, here I see my source data in Excel. I'm going to highlight the table and click on copy. Now let's go back over to PowerPoint, let's go to the top left hand corner and click on the drop down under paste, then select paste special. Here let's select paste link, and then I can paste it as a Microsoft Excel worksheet object. And look at that, I now have my table in Microsoft PowerPoint. Sure, you had done that before and still there is no big deal here. But wait, the magic, it is about to happen. Here now I have Excel and PowerPoint open side by side. Now I'll just update one of the numbers in Excel table, and look at that, it is automatically updates without requiring me to do anything in PowerPoint. If I want to make any changes to the table within PowerPoint, I can simply double click on the table, and this will open up the source Excel sheet, then I can make whatever changes I want, and they'll automatically flow back into PowerPoint. There is very important thing to know here is that, if I want to make any formatting changes to my table, let's say I want to change the topping color, or maybe the fonts, or even the font sizes. I have to make all of those changes in Excel. So, once I make the changes in Excel, they'll flow through to PowerPoint. However, I can't make any of these formatting changes directly within PowerPoint. Now on the next slide, I have the exact same data, but this time it's in a chart format. Basically, a visual way to view these same data. Right now, this chart is disconnected from my Excel data, so once again if a change happens in Excel it won't update the chart. And now I want to connect both. Let's go to Excel and within Excel I'm going to copy the chart, and then let's go back to PowerPoint back, and within PowerPoint, let's go up to the top left hand corner and once again let's click on the drop down, under paste. Here we have a few different options for pasting this chart, we can embed the chart, but the problem with embedding is, it won't be connected to the original data in Excel. Here are two different options where we can link to the source data, the first one uses the destination theme, so basically the theme that I have in my PowerPoint presentation. The next option allows me to use the source theme, basically the look and feel that I have in Excel. I'll select the second option, and this way it'll now be linked to the source data. I once again have PowerPoint open side by side with Excel, when I make changes to the data in Excel, it automatically updates to reflect the latest changes. Now, what if I want to update my chart? And unlike with the table, where you could simply double click on it. With charts you have to right click on the chart, and within the context menu, you can select the option edit data. This will open up Excel, where you can make changes, and then those changes will flow through to your chart. With charts it only links the data, so if you make any formatting changes in Excel, those won't flow through into PowerPoint. So you have to make all of your chart formatting changes either before you link the chart to PowerPoint, or once you bring your chart into PowerPoint. There are some pretty robust charts formatting tools. And this differs charts from tables, where you have to make all of the formatting changes in Excel. Alright, well this is sure will make your life a lot easier, and I'm sure it's going to help you save a lot of time. To see more tutorial like this please consider subscribing, and I'll see you at the next video.